Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures. Today we're going to take a trip away from the models and back to the books with some obscurities in literature. So the other day I stumbled across a video on YouTube of Dragon's Heaven and I kept looking at it thinking, you know, that looks really familiar. And the artwork looked familiar and the style looked familiar and I knew I'd seen a video at some point and I knew I'd seen some other stuff about it. So I asked my brother, I said, do you remember that? He's like, oh yeah, I got that book. And then I remember I was there with him when he probably bought it. Anyway, this is the art of Dragon's Heaven. Dragon's Heaven being the love child of Makoto Kobayashi, who is not the author of What's Michael. That's a different Makoto Kobayashi, who's also from Niigata, where all the artists seem to be from, because that's where my wife's family is from, and that's where we always spend all of our time in Japan, and we're getting off task. But anyway, Makoto Kobayashi is a big name in a lot of the super robot stuff like with uh what's it called giant robo he did giant robo that's the big one so he also was a very accomplished modeler and was very involved in a lot of the early mech stuff from the 80s so this is an interesting book because it's got i'll show you in a sec it's got a lot of artwork that was done prior to the movie being made and then there's a lot of illustrated stories that were made alongside it or were influenced by it or were prior to the book coming out or movie coming out and it's just kind of cool to see the influence that Kobayashi would have on other artists like uh, Kazuhishi Kondo who's a big Gundam artist very similar style uh, you can see a lot of like Shiro design in his work here and what's interesting is the movie itself had a much more euro manga look to it whereas this is very uh, i don't know like 80s mecha manga and i'm not going to spend too much time so there's like the color story here and again uh very much like kondo kazuishi kondo's uh i think that's right kondo i know it's kondo anyway Similar style with the mecha art. Almost reminds me of uh, Mamoru Nagano's Five Star Stories as well. Kind of scribbly and scratchy. Let's see some of the mecha design work in here. Those faces, though, are pure 80s. Surprisingly, there's not as much of the European style to the artwork here. There's little bits here and there. You can see just like with the stipling going on with the buildings. But then there's almost like a Stomanihe Blaine style dystopian industrial look going on there. That I'm curious if it was a much of an influence on him. Because you can definitely see some of that there in the artwork and the use of the heavy blacks. In shading the Neo Geo. It's not the Neo Geo I remember. Like Bound Ox from Gundam. And again, just the heavy shading in black, it, it definitely makes me wonder if this was an influence on Stomanihe and his blame and Sidonia and all that. about you guys but I always enjoy seeing mech design work like this so then we get to the middle of the book we're getting heavier and darker shades and still I'm not seeing that European influence oh whoa, we're skipping ahead there hold on So then they have some stuff about the movie itself, and they even mention in here about the fact that it was very influenced. Oh, we have the live-action model stuff here. They do make mention of the fact that it was very influenced by the European comics from the late 70s, early 80s. And I think it's much more apparent in the actual animated section, and then they go into the actual movie bits here. I always liked anime comics. Of course, I liked it when they were in color more. Of 
and you can see a bit more of that European design influence with the actual movie. If you haven't had a chance to see the movie, it's interesting to see just for the style going on there. Then in the back of the book we get into more of the actual design work, which again is what I really like, and I'm sure that's why my brother bought it. And yeah, that is totally a bound dock. Of course that looks a bit like the O from uh, Zeta Gundam. So definitely worth tracking down if you want to take a look at some of that interesting artwork, and then there's a sloppy little story at the end here. Yeah. Had to be really quick changing those pages because there's always the random nudity for no apparent reason. But an interesting book and an interesting look back at a style of mecha design and movie making for that matter that we really don't see anymore in really anywhere. It seems to be a lost style, especially with the advent of doing everything on the computer, sadly. But it is nice that we have books like this as a memento, so hopefully you found this interesting, and hopefully there was something in there you like to see. With that said, this is High Lord Tamerlane with Obscurities and Miniatures. Saying thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here soon. Bye-bye.